نعم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. Okay so um ما شاء الله أهلاً وسهلاً to everyone those who are present through Zoom. Uh, sorry for the lateness as people are still coming stuck Sunday. in the traffic and it's Sunday as well. So so today is the how we we are doing the whole of Habib Abdul Qadir Sakaf, Habib Ali Habshi, Habib Umar bin Abdurrahman Al Attas. And Habib Muhammad Al Haddar, and in Habib Abdullah bin Hussein bin Tahir, and many more. And as uh, Alhamdulillah, we got we are blessed to get the fatwa from Sayyid Al Habib Umar bin Hafiz from Tarim. So Inshallah, I will play it. Are everyone there? Yes, yes. People are online. <laughs> ومن لك رمعهم في هذه الحولية الكريمة المباركة ويبارك في كل من حضر ويبارك في كل من سعى فيها وأقامها وجعل لها خيرات تعود بصلاح القلوب وتعود برفع الهمة في الوجهة إلى الرب تعالى وتعود بنشر الهداية ودفع الغواية وتعود بصلاح الحال والمعال وبلغ الأمال إلى حضرة النبي محمد اللهم صلى الله وسلم عليه وعلى آله فاتحة Let's Education. <laughs> حسن بن عبد الله حداد وإلى سن حبيب سالم بن عبد الله حداد وكل أرواي ونسان في ذنب وإلى روي سن حبيب علي حبشي وإلى روي سن حبيب حد بكر بن سميت وإلى روي سن حبيب سالم جماعة ديل وإلى سن حبيب مار بن سميت وإلى سن حبيب أحمد وشود تحداد شين الله وإلى روي سن حبيب عبد الكاظم سجاب وإلى روي سن حبيب عبد الله بن شاب وإلى سيدنا حبيب سالم شاتي ووالدينا وأحبابنا وإلى حد نبي الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Before we begin, I need to mention to them and to everyone here that um, at one o'clock, inshallah, Habib Ubaidillah Al-Attas, he will uh, join through, inshallah, through Zoom as he will be our special guest, inshallah, from Mecca. So, inshallah, he will um, give all the biography. All the biography, inshallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودى أكرم بك وما قال بل الآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يؤتيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ظالما فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى أما اليتيم فلا تكفر أما السائل فلا تنفر وأما بنعمة ربك فهديس الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله أكبر بسم الله والدين والزيتون والطور السنين وعاد البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن التقويم ثم أعددناه أسفل الساقلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممدون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق 
خلق الإنسان من علم اقرأ ربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان ليطغى الرأى واستغنى إن إلى ربك الرجع أرأيت الذي ينهى عبدا إذا صلى أرأيت إن كان على الهدى أو أمر بالتقوى أرأيت إن كذب وتولى ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى كلا لئن لم ينتهي لنسفعا بالناسية ناسية كاذبة خاطئة فليد أنادية سنذ السبانية كلا لا تدع واسجد وابتلي سجدت الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أنزلنا في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لم يكن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين حتى تأتيهم البينة رسول من الله يدعو سبقا مطهرا فيها كتبا قيمة وما تفرق الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءتهم البينة وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا الله مخلصين له الدين حنفاء ويقيم الصلاة ويؤتوا الزكاة وذلك دين القيمة إن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين في نار جهنم قالدين فيها أولئك هم الشر البرية إن الذين آمنوا عبد الصالحات أولئك هم خير البرية جزاؤهم عند ربهم جنات عدن تجري من تحت الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك لمن خشي ربه الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوحالها يومئذ يصدر الناس أشداة ليروا أعمالهم ومن يعمل مثقال ذرة خير يرى ومن يعمل مثقال ذرة شر يرى الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعاديات ضبحا والموريات فضحا والمغيرات سبحا فأسلنا به نبعا وأسطنا به جمعا إن الإنسان لربه لكنون وإنه أعطى ذلك لشهيد وإنه لحب الخير لشديد أفلا يعلم إذا فأسر ما في القبور وفسر ما في الصدور إن ربهم بهم يومئذ لقبير الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم القارئة ما القارئة وما أراك ما القارئة يوم يقول الناس كان فراش المبثوث وتقول الجبال كان إهدي المنفوش فأما من ثقلت موازي هو في عيشة راضية وأما من ثقلتها نار حاجة الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لا ترون اليقين ثم لا ترون أهل اليقين ثم لا تسرون يوم إذن الله أكبر يا إله إلا الله الله أكبر من الله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بل عصر إن الإنسان في خسر إلا الذين آمنوا من الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل همزة لمزة الذي جمع مالا وعدده يحسب أن ماله أخلده كلا لينزلن في الحتمة وما أدراك من حتمة نار الله المنقدة التي تطلع على الأفدة إنها عليه مصدة في عمد ممددة الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم ترى كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيتهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابي ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل ويعلم كعصف المحطول الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لإلاف قريش إلافهم إحنا الشفاء والصرف وليعبدوا رب هذا البيت الذي أطعمه بجوه وعبده من خوف الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي كذب يكذبون فذلك من أمي أدعو اليتيم ولا يحط على طعام المسكين فويل كل المصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراهون ويمنعون الباهون الله لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك التوفر فسجد ربك وانحر إن شانيك هو الأبتر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصف الله والبت ورأيت الناس يذكرون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك فاستغفره إنه كان توانا الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل والله تبت يدا أبي لهب وتب ما أغنى من مال وما تسب سيصلى نارا ذات لهب وامرأته حمالة الحطب في جيدها حبل من مسد الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله وحده الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله وحده الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله وحده الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله وحده الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفا أحد الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طلع راس إذا وقفت ومن شر نفاثات فرعون ومن شر حاسد إذا حسن الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طلع موسوعة <تصفيق> صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف آمين ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويؤمنون الصلاة مما رزقناهم ينفقون 
بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم
وحبيب عبد الكادر السقاف وحبيب محمد الحدار محمد الحدار حبيب عمر بن عبد الرحمن الأطاس وحبيب عمر بن عبد الرحمن الأطاس وكل أولي وصالحين وكل مؤمنة ومؤمنة هذه كرآته لأجل وسبب أن تعلمه باسمه ونسبه ووصوله وفروه وحواشي اللهم جل في دار له من النار اللهم جل في دار له من النار اللهم جل اللهم جل في دار له من النار 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 ومن عذاب القبر ومن أعوال يوم القيامة وقف لهم ورحمهم وجمعنا مهم في دار كرامة مستقر ورحمةك مع عبادك الصالحين وحبك المفلحين اللهم أل بنا وبهم عجنا عجنا في الدين والدنيا والآخرة ما وما أنت والنهر أهل ولا تفعل بنا يا مولانا ما نحن له أهل إنك إنك غفور رحيم جوال كريم روف رحيم برحمة يا رحمة رحيمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا والحمد لله رب العالمين فاتحة Thank you. 
man kana madhul majala muhammadin hadida walhamdulillah syukra ala ni'min hudatra na'madu sirran wa jahra wa bil hadaya wa nasa Anybody need water? Help yourself. Now he's coming. Allah Muhammad So, of course, everyone uh, may be on the way or running late. So, uh, now the program is uh, going to enter the room anytime, inshallah. As today is the whole of uh, this habit which we have mentioned, and we've been blessed by the Fatih of the Muhammad Sahib. Marhaba. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wa mursaleen. Sayyidina wa nabiyyana wa habibana Muhammad bin Abdullah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man sara ala hadha al-minwan. Habibu Baydullah, may Allah preserve him, begin with praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then sending salutations upon the most honorable Prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and upon the companions, upon the blessed family of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nubarik lakum hadha al-ishtima' ala dhikri salihid. We'd like to congratulate or give glad tidings rather to everybody in attendance in this blessed gathering where the pious are being remembered. And this is in accordance to that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do. As we all know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made mention of the lives of the prophets and also made mention of the pious, some of the stories of the pious. By way of example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the story of Luqman, who is not a prophet, rather from the pious. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed Luqman with yeah. immense wisdom. And this wisdom then was a means of many people benefiting around him. To the extent that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named a surah under this, under his name, Sayyidina Luqman. And as well as Yasin. 
إذ أرسل الله عز وجل ثلاثة من الأنبياء إلى أحد المدن يدعوهم إلى الله عز وجل. Where it was mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent three prophets to a particular place to call the people or to invite the people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, these three prophets received nothing but persecution and negative reception from those people who they were calling. And thereafter, a pious person by the name of Habib and Najjar, as far as the tafsir is concerned, came to these individuals. Who then, this Habib and Najjar, would then strive towards connecting the creation in this particular locality to its creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the extent that this striving and martyrdom then meant for him paradise. And this is that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made mention of this individual in Surah Yaseen. And where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that and they came from afar, a man striving and calling the individuals who he went towards saying that follow the messengers. وفي آخر الآيات قال قل ادخلوا الجنة يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين. And then later on in this verse it says enter paradise till the end of the verse which Habib will now explain. وأنتم الآن and this gathering, um, sorry, there's no explanation in the previous ayah, but this gathering now is nothing but a gathering to remember the pious. Individuals who followed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَاقْتَدُوا بِآثَارَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمُ And were a living example of his way, صلى الله عليه وسلم. وَتَخَلَّبُوا بِأَخْلَاقَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمُ In terms of their conduct and character. فَكَانَ لَهُمْ نَصِيبٌ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَخْلَاقِ And these individuals would or carried with them a fine share of the prophetic character. And from these prophetic etiquettes. For example, Habib Omar bin Abdurrahman al Attas. When he asked his student, Imam Abdullah bin Alawi al-Haddad, So people asked Habib Abdullah bin Alawi al-Haddad that how did you find or how describe for us Habib Omar bin Abdurrahman al-Attas? And his response was nothing but two simple words. 
قال وجدت عمر بن عبد الرحمن العطاس قل ورب قل ورب الله His response to this was nothing but two sentences and said that I found him nothing but qalb and rab which translates to he had a heart and this heart only knew Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qalbuhu muta'alliq bi rabbuh his his heart was connected to his lord subhanahu wa ta'ala hadha al-imam kana kafif al-basar this imam Habib Umar bin Abdurrahman Al-Attas was blind. لكنه لم تجب عليه صلاة الجمعة 40 سنة. عيد الكلمة سيدي. لكن لم تجب عليه صلاة الجمعة لأنه كان دائما مسافر بالدعوة إلى الله عز وجل. Despite being blind, you would find that in his life never was Salat al Juma incumbent upon him, not because of his blindness, rather because he would always be traveling. And we find this then as part of a, a legal um, uh, excuse to not attend Juma if one is traveling. The Fiqh book explains more details. رغم مشقة السفر كانت في السابق وأنه كفيف البصر لكن لم يتخلف عن الدعوة إلى الله عز وجل. Look at this individual then just for a second. Not only was he blind, but in those days the trav the means of transportation was not as easy as we had today. But despite all of these difficulties. He did not stop in connecting the creation to its creator. Dawa ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa nahnu al-an mutawaffara indana al-imkaniyat wa takhallafna an al-da'wa ila Allah azza wa jal. Look at us. Everything has been laid out for us. Very easy. But beside, despite all of this ease, we are... behind in calling towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establishing dawa wa kana yaqulu ahad tullabuhu ismuhu al-faqih abdullah bin umar ba abbad so one of his students was reported to have said his name was habib umar bin abdullah ba abbad يقول لو نظر والله يقول كده يقول والله لو نظر إليه كافر لأسلم. He described his teacher that by Allah, if somebody was to look at this individual, a disbeliever, the effects would be that belief enters the heart of this disbeliever. لأنه أنوار النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فيهم. And this was because upon them, upon their faces, was the prophetic light. And this individual then, Habib Umar bin Abdurrahman al-Ata, Sayyidi, would not sleep except a little, a few hours at night. هو يرد الدعاء الوتر اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت إلى آخره لما يحسه من اللدة. And it's been reported that on some nights he would not sleep and would rather be engaged in the dua of witr that oh Allah guide us through those people who you had by by those people that you have guided and so forth the famous dua al witr And he would repeat this witr dua on account of what he would taste when reciting this dua. And all these individuals which we are commemorating today, they would... Or they have something in, in common. 
And all of that is the night prayer. Kana min al mutawfin fi hada shahr al Habib Abdullah bin Hussein bin Tahir. And from amongst those is Habib Abdullah bin Hussein Tahir. Yakra fi al-Wutir, yakra fi al-Wutir kulli layla ashara hazza min al-Quran al-Karim. Who was recorded to have to be reciting every that he would recite every night for during the witr ten juz of the Quran. And during his duha prayer, eight juz of the Quran. And from amongst his litanies would be the saying, La ilaha illallah, 25,000 times daily. And likewise, this number of 25,000 would also be in his salutations upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this was on top of his other schedule in terms of his lessons. And despite doing all of these great things that we've mentioned, these 25,000 of La ilaha illallah, <laughs> The, the many Jews of Quran, he would still be heard to, to, to be saying that, Oh Allah, I have no deeds to present to you. <laughs> These individuals are true living examples of people who were very particular about how they spent their time. <laughs> And from amongst those great individuals who also passed away, who we are who we are commemorating today, is Habib Abdul Qadir bin Ahmed al saqaf his schedule would be such that, and Habib Ubaidullah is speaking from experience, having been in the company of this great individual, that from Fajr till night time, he would be attending more than 20 gatherings of knowledge. And despite the difficult means of transportation that time, it may be sometimes that he would have a lesson in Mecca and then go to Mecca and then come back to Jeddah. And on top of all of this, of his busy schedule from morning to evening, he would still take time out to attend to the needs of people. And by way of example, that he was available basically, like we would say in English, 24 hours. That even if somebody came in the middle of the night to knock at his door, he would open the door and serve this individual. And at times, these, um, this type of um, setup where individuals would appear at any time of the day or night, 
it would have some kind of um, effect on those in Habib's house. However, Habib would politely respond to his family members and say, leave them, leave them, let them come in. أخلاق نبوية لم يتضجر أبدا. And this is nothing else but the prophetic character. الله عز وجل أكرمنا بالجلوس أمامه والقراءة عليه. And we thank Allah subhanahu wa taala that He has given us the opportunity to having sat in the company. Of this great individual, Habib Abdul Qadir al Saqaf. And we would see nothing upon him but a smile and gentleness in his interaction. And we remember when we were very young, he would always be. Despite our age, I, I younger than him or those in attendance, he would always show us the necessary um, attention. This individual had very high character. And you will find that this path of displaying the perfected character would be common amongst the pious. Alhamdulillah, We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for having gathered us in a gathering where the pious are being remembered. Yaqul al-Imam al-Thawri Imam Thawri rahimahullah mentions يقول, that when the pious are mentioned, mercy descends. ويقول, الحنبل, عيينة, يقول, and Habib Sayyidina Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal. Sayyidina Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal also reported this from, from the people he, who he heard it from. That this saying of that when the pious are remembered, mercy descends. And from amongst the most effective things to rectifying the hearts is the remembrance of the pious. And Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, is narrated to have said, Aida Libara, learn us my Jane. Tirat al Rijal, a habu ilaya min kutrat al fiqh. That the Abu Hanifa Rahimullah was reported to have said that the life stories of the great men, the pious, is more beloved to me than sacred law, fiqh. Wa aidan min al ladina. يحتفل بهم هذه الأيام الحبيب علي بن محمد الحبشي. And from amongst the other great individuals that we are commemorating today is Habib Ali bin Muhammad al Habshi. نذكر لكم فائدة. We'll we'll mention a few or a ben a, a beneficial point regarding this. يقول وص الحبيب علي الحبشي يقول وصاني شيخي الحبيب أبو بكر بن عبد الله العطاس. عيد اللي برا. يقول وصاني وصاني شيخي الحبيب أبو بكر بن عبد الله العطاس. عيد سيدي. و 
وصاني اي امرني شيخي الحبيب ابو بكر بن عبد الله العطاف ان اصلي الوتر 11 ركعه حبيب علي بن محمد الحبشي mentioned that he was advised from his sheikh habib abi bakr bin abdullah that i should pray witr 11 times 11 rakats in witr بالطريقه كيف بالكيفيه الاتيه using the following way that i will explain to you الركعه الاولى سوره اذا زلزلت مرتين in the first raqa, Surah Al-Zulzila, twice. وَالْهَاكُمُ الثَّكَاتُرْ سِتَّ مَرَّاتِ فِي الرَّكَعَ الثَّانِيَةِ And in the second raqa, Surah Al-Takathur, سِتَّ مَرَّاتِ نعم Surah Al-Takathur, six times. أما في الرَّكَعَ الثَّالِثَ وَالْرَّابِعَ والخامسة والسادسة كيف أما سيدي؟ أما الرابعة الثالثة والرابعة والخامسة والسادسة كل منهم آية الكرسي وثلاثة من قل هو الله أحد And as for the third, fourth, fifth and sixth ركعة we would recite Surah Al-Ikhlas and Ayat Al-Kursi in each. Marra, marra. Al-Ikhlas and Ayat Al-Kursi. Ayat Al-Kursi, marra, wahida. Al-Ikhlas, thalata, marra. So as for, just a correction there, on the third raka, fourth, fifth, and sixth raka, in each one of these, we would recite Surah Al-Ikhlas thrice. And in each one, likewise, Surah Ayat Al-Kursi. Eden. نعيد مرة أخرى الأولى إذا زلزلت نعم مرتين والثانية الهاكم الثكاتر ست مرات نعم وأنت الزيني والثالثة آية الكرسي وقل هو الله حتى هذا مرات الرابعة أيضا آية الكرسي وقل هو الله حتى ثلاث مرات والخامسة آية الكرسي وقل هو الله حتى ثلاث مرات ثم السادسة آية الكرسي وقل هو الله حتى أيضا ثلاث مرات والسابعة والثامنة كذلك and as for what we would do in the third to sixth raka, this would also apply in the seventh and eighth raka. As as for the remaining rakas, i.e. the 9th, 10th, and 11th, in the 9th we would read Surat Al-A'la. Naam. And in the 10th, Surat Al-Kafirun. And then in the 11th, Surat Al-Ikhlas, Falaq, and Nas. Naam. Habada al-amal baha law istata' al-insan hadda law ayyamun qadila iktida'an bohum. And it's recommended that this way that we've mentioned for an individual to at least try it even just once in their life, just so you can be of those that followed these great individuals in a portion of what they did. And we would like to conclude this gathering, this speech of ours, with giving ijazah to the people for the Ratib al-Habib Umar bin Abdurrahman al-Attas. Everybody should just say, Qabilna al-Ijazah, or I accept the ijazah. قال al-Habib Umar bin Abdurrahman al-Attas, Sirri kullu fil-Ratib. And 
to comment then on this, which we've just been given an ijazah in, the Saratib al Atas, the compiler of it, um, the author of it said that all of my secrets I've placed within the Saratib. And he further said that the individual who reads this ratib, then his house will be free from all minor or major calamities, theft. Fire, etc., etc. Habib Abdul Qadir says, That in the morning we would read Word al Latif and then the Ratib al Attas. And then we would repeat the Ratib al Atas in the evening, but this time with Ratib al Haddad. So we notice in this great Imam would recite the Ratib al Atas twice, morning once and evening once. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, to forgive us for our sins, and to conceal our faults, and to make us benefit from these great men, connect us to them, in this life and the hereafter. وَيَمُدَّنَا مِنْ أَسْرَارِهِمْ وَأَنْوَارِهِمْ وَعُلُومِهِمْ Make us benefit and receive spiritual assistance from their secrets, their life. وَيَحْشُرْنَا فِي زُمْرَتِهِمْ And to resurrect us in their company. بِسِرِّ أَسْرَارِ الْفَاتِحَ From the secrets of Al-Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. We have much time. We have enough time, yes. So we can uh, build the Bible from the church. <laughs> Because we forgot to mention about Habib Muhammad al Hattari. No? Uh, we mentioned briefly, you guys missed it. 
I'm sure it'll be recorded hopefully, inshallah. Then we'll send you the video, inshallah. Um, um, we're going to read about Habib Muhammad al Haddad as I think the time was short for them. I think it's nearly, it was going to be nearly Maghrib, I guess, in Jitta. But um, alhamdulillah, what he gave was uh, enough for us, but inshallah, we'll go through more, inshallah. As you have mentioned about Habib Muhammad al Haddad, Ali Rahmatullah is the Sheikh of uh, Sayyid al Habib Umar bin Hafid, Afidullah Rahu, wa Atallah fi Umri. Bismillah uh, Rahim, his lineage is Habib al Allama Muhammad bin Abdullah al Haddad bin Sheikh. Bin, Muh- bin Ahmad bin Muhsin bin Ali bin Saleh bin Muhammad bin Saleh bin Hussein bin Sheikh Al Fakhr uh, Abu Bakr bin Salim bin Abdullah bin Abdurrahman bin Abdullah bin Sheikh Abdurrahman Sakaf bin Sheikh Muhammad Mawlad Dawila bin Muh- Ali Mawlad Darak bin Alawi Al Ghuyur bin Fakin Mukaddam Muhammad bin Ali um, Sahab Mirbat uh, Ali Khalid Rasul. Uh, bin Alawi bin Muhammad Sahib bin Sama'ah bin Alawi bin Ubaidullah bin Imam Muhajirullah Ahmad bin Isa Muhammad Naqib bin Ali Uredi bin Ja'far Sadiq bin Muhammad Bakir bin Ali Zain Al-Abidin bin Hussain Al-Sibti bin Ali uh, bin Abi Talib wa Fatim Al-Zahra the book of our master Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Come here please <laughs> no need to keep getting. <laughs> uh, so he's like the he, he his Habib Muhammad was born in the village of Azza near the city of Al Bayda in the North Yemen in the year 1340-1921. He his great great grandfather Said Muhsin left had left Hadramaut and settled in Al Bayda around the beginning of the 13th Hijri. He was given the best upbringings by his father who, de- who had devoted him to the service of Allah while he was still in his mother's womb. His father hoped that he, Allah would, return, would turn him into a scholar. His Muhammad was Nur bin Abdullah bin Basahal. Basahi. Basahi. An extremely pious woman known for her worship and charity. She would spend from dawn to dusk in her kitchen cooking for the hungry, especially for the, at the time of famine in Yemen during the Second World War. In his childhood, Habib Muhammad learned the Quran and, found, uh, and the foundational Islamic studies sciences from his father and the scholars of al Baydah. In one of the last nights of Ramadan, while in the, in the mosque, he witnessed a brilliant light. When he informed his father of this, he said to him, perhaps it is Laylatul Qadr. So ask Allah to make you one of the scholars that act according to their knowledge. His thirst for knowledge then led him to attempt to travel to Tarim at the, at the age of 17. After the traveling by sailboat from Aden to Al Mukalla, he was unable to go any further due to political strife and thus returned home. No, not deterred, he then travelled by land. His father accompanied him on the first leg of the journey. When the time of, when the time came for them to apart to part company, his father faced the Qibla with tears in his eyes and said, "Oh Allah, people are sending their children to America and other places to earn their money, and I'm sending him to learn." Basically, his father, he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he's sending his son, Habib Muhammad al-Hattar, to learn, uh, to tarim, inshallah. So give him an opening, he's making dua, so give him an opening and make him one of the scholars that act according to their knowledge. In spite of almost dying of thirst, 
on the mountain path between Sayun and Tarim, Habib Muhammad finally arrived safely in Tarim he, and, he, uh, and he headed straight for its famous Rabat, where he was met by Habib Abdullah bin Umar al-Shatri. Habib Muhammad spent the four, next four years in the Rabat in the pursuit of knowledge. His efforts were immense. He would prepare, he would be, he would prepare for each lesson by reading the subject material at least 18 times and would only sleep around two hours in the day and night. So he engaged, so engaged was he in this in his studies that he did not once enter the room of the of the student in the other in the room next door to him and did not open letters that were sent to him from Al Bayda. Habib Abdullah recognized his ability and gave him special attention and the responsibility, leaving the reward in his hands when he left Tarim. He studied at the hands of, of, of amongst others like Habib Alwi bin Abdullah bin Shihab and Habib Ja'far bin Ahmed al Aidarus and Sheikh Mahfoud bin Salim uh, al Zubaydi. After the death of Habib Abdullah in 1361, in uh, 1941, Habib Muhammad returned home, in, returned home his heart full, full with desire to spread his knowledge and guide people to the path of Allah. Subhanahu wa in 1362, which is 1942, he established a school in his birthplace, uh, Azza. He would also go out to the people traveling from village to village, reminding people of their duties. He would address the crowds that gathered for the weekly market in the city of al Baida and played an important role in resolving uh, tribal conflicts. He traveled on foot, uh, on foot to perform Hajj in 1365, 1945. On his return, he spent some time in Ta'is studying at the hands of Habib Ibrahim bin Aqil bin Yahya in 1955, uh, 1375. He performed Hajj for the second time and from that year on, he would make Hajj almost every year, while at the same time taking knowledge from the scholars of, of the Hijaz, among them Sayyid Alwi bin Abbas al Maliki. In 1950, 1370, he traveled to Somalia and was made Imam. Imam of Masjid Mirwas in Mogadishu. He reminded he remained there for a year and a half, during which time Habib Ahmad al Mashur al Haddad visited him. He toured constantly and oversaw the establishment of a ribat in the town of Bidwa. Habib Muhammad had long wished to establish a ribat in the city of Al Bayda. He sought financial support in Aden and Ethiopia and the preliminary construction was completed in 1960, 1380. Many people saw the messenger in their dreams, giving good tidings of the success of the ribat. Someone saw him planting his blessed foot in the ribat, saying, this will remain as long as my ummah remains. Habib Muhammad was in need of a teacher, so he requested that Habib Muhammad bin Salim bin Hafid, the father of Habib Umar, Sent, sent someone from Tarim, Habib Muhammad selected Habib Zain bin Ibrahim bin Smed. He's in Saudi now. Uh, Habibullah. He became the Ribat, the Ribat's greatest, greatest teacher and remain, remained in Al Bayda for around 20 years. In 1981, which is 1402, Habib Umar bin Muhammad bin Salim bin Hafib, Habibullah, left a troubled Hadramaut and came to Al Bayda. He spent 10 years taking knowledge from Al Habib. He spent 10 years taking knowledge from Habib Muhammad, who married his daughter to him. Habib Umar also taught in the Ribat and expanded and expended great efforts calling the people of the of the region to Allah and his messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of this was the was the best preparation for his return to Hadramaut after the fall of the socialist regime and he eventually eventually established of his own rebirth Darun Mustafa.
is that David had suffered from, for many years from serious illness, and towards the end of his life, he moved to Mecca, where the climate suited his condition. He would travel regularly to visit his grandfather, the messenger of Allah, Allah my name is where he would stand for hours in front of the blessed chamber. He would also go often to Jeddah and attend the gatherings of the Habib of the Dadar Sega, and would likewise attend the gatherings of the Habib of Bakr, al Athas, and Hashi in Mecca. His son said of him that he did not waste a moment of his life due to his incapacity. Incapacity as death approached, he had one of his relatives make tayyum to him. His last words were the words he would repeat frequently through his life. La ilaha illallah. No, it's not a All right. His last words he would uh, were the words he would repeat frequently throughout his life. La ilaha illallah athni bi hamri. La ilaha illallah atkul bi atabri. La ilaha illallah akhlu bi wahdi. La ilaha illallah alqa bi rabbi. La ilaha illallah with it I end my life. La ilaha illallah with it I enter my grave. La ilaha illallah with alone I isolate myself. La ilaha illallah with it I met. I meet my Lord. He then fell into prostration and his soul departed from his body. It was 8th Rabi Athani, 1418, 1997. As his body was carried to the, its resting place in the Ma'ala Cemetery, Mecca was filled with the loud recitation of La ilaha illallah, a fitting, at, a fitting end to a man who had said our flesh and our and body is infused with la ilaha illallah. He was buried in the proximity of his mother, the mother of believers, Sayyid al khadijat al-Kubra and Habib Ahmad Mashur al-Haddad. May, may Allah continue to benefit us and may his memory live, uh, live on. He would end his gatherings and prayers in the last portion of the night with these words mumnun ilahi bil qabul li a'malina wa da'awat nadkhul ma ta'a wa ali fi as-suhuf wa al-walad ma'hum wa fihim da'iman fi dar al-din wa al-akhirat wa qul li nadhimaha wa lil qariyin hum al-qariyat wa man sami'ha wa nashara wa katibin wa katibat warham wa wafiq ummat ahmad wa ahdi asli liniyat alayhi sallallahu wa sallam adad dar al-kainat wa ali kull anbiya wa salihin wa salihat my Lord, grant our actions and supplications acceptance. Let us enter paradise along with the Taha with Prophet Muhammad and his family in the first row. Let us be with them always in this abode and the next. Forgive the poet and those reading this poem, male and female. And anyone that hears it or spreads it, and those that write it, male and female, have basically this poem which we are reading. Like those who write it or read it, either from male or female, so written for us this dua, inshallah. And it's in the khulasa, this dua, you know. Fakul ma'ina astaghfirullah min jameel sayyadis. Basically, before the word of Shaykh Abba bin Salim. In the uh, have mercy and grant grace to the Ummah of Ahmad Sulasi. Guide its members and rectify our intentions. May peace and, and blessings be upon him, the number of atoms in creation, and upon his family and all the prophets and the pious men and women in every instant for, forevermore the, the sum of all innumerable moments and all praise belongs to Allah, equal to his infinite grace, grace and bounty as he loves to be praised. So this is uh, Habib Muhammad al Hatta, who what we have uh, heard also. Here's more 
knowledge as from us because he's been studying in the Rubat of Tarim. And of course, he's, this one here as well, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. But Alhamdulillah, we're all under the knowledge, inshallah. As uh, well, it was mentioned that um, Habib Muhammad al-Haddar would never sleep. His, his firash, his, basically his mattress was wrapped up for, I don't know how many years, for like until he left, he didn't open the mattress. He only had two hours to sleep as we have heard. And um, what was also mentioned that, it's not written over here, but what we've heard from our teachers that um, before Dar Mustafa was built, that place, that place was complete desert. It was just a desert open land, yeah? And his sons, Habib Muhammad al Haddad, his children were like, why are you praying over here? Yeah? It's an empty place. They like they're like lepers and stuff over there, like you know, these wild lions. It's just even the local Tarimis, they're like, why is he building it over there? Yeah? Like when Dar Mustafa was about to be built. But what happened? Uh what was mentioned that Habib Muhammad al Haddar, he went there, he prayed two rakas in that place. It was just an open place. There's Tarim was very little. And what happened? He made two rakat and he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he and the children asked him, asked him like why why are you praying here? What is over here that you see? It's an open place, yeah. He said, he mentioned to them, a time will come where you will, like he was pointing to his children, that you would wish that you would build a house over here. And I see the light going up from this ground. And now we're in the days. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant everyone, each one of us, the zero of Tarim, inshallah. And alhamdulillah. You came first, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, Sheikh Nur Jilani. He, he studied in the Rubat of Tarim and under the company of uh, Habib Salim Shatir Ali Rahmatullah. So he's the. Uh, He's more, he's more knowledgeable than us. Today he got repeat that. Alhamdulillah. 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 First of all, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless Habib Shams and his family mm -hmm. and provide his companion for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him, inshallah. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repent that he's not feeling well. May Allah give him shifa, mm -hmm. him and his family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala return his health. Mm -hmm. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala return their health mm -hmm. and return their strength. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look down upon them mm -hmm. and increase their blessing, increase them in love. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in the connection. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a portion of what He's given to us, inshallah. We've heard from Habib Ubaidullah and we've heard from what is written in the book. And what we've heard is enough. There's nothing else to say. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us implement what, we hear, what we've heard, inshallah. Amen. And there's a funny story of uh, Habib Abdul Qadr Sagaf. We've heard from uh, Habib Salim, rahimahullah. He said that when Habib Abdul Qadr Sagaf was young, he was a child, and you know children, they're not around too much. So his, his dad, they usually, they usually go to pray in the mosque, in the masjid, and uh, one, day his dad, he, one day his dad went to pray in the mosque, and he didn't see his son, <laughs> He went back home, his son was uh, with his friends, and uh, when Habib Bukhada returned home, his dad asked him, have you prayed in the mosque? He said, yes, I have. <laughs> he prayed next to you. On your right, he said, Fulani bin Fulan, so and so. Okay. He prayed on your left, so and so, Fulani bin Fulan. You know what he done? He went to the houses of who, who he mentioned. He went to the houses of who he mentioned. On his right side, he said, So and so prayed beside you, right? He said, Yes. He went to his house. He knocked on the door. And the God took off his heart was burning inside. <laughs> so so the, the person opened the door. He asked him, Did my son pray beside you today? He said, no. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the other person's house. No. He went to the other person's house. He said, did my son pray beside you? He said, no. He said, wow, subhanAllah. I'm going to go home. My dad's going to mash me. Give me a beating. So he went home. He went to the and he, his dad done nothing to him. 
His dad used to beat him. His dad used to shout at him. This is the terbiya they used to do with the children. They had, mashallah, they were big terbiya. And uh, when Habib Salim has mentioned that Habib Bukhari, he lived for 100 years except two months. Two months or three months? Three months. And uh, we've heard about Habib uh, Muhammad al Haddad. He studied in the laboratory. And his room until now, it is known for out of all the students. Habib Muhammad al Haddad used to stay in this room. He used to not sleep at all. And it is mentioned that when he went to the Ribat, he came with his mattress folded up. And when he left Ribat, he left with his mattress folded up. All of the four years that he stayed in Ribat, he didn't open his mattress. He used to stay, he used to stay, he used to sleep only two hours there. That's all he mentioned. And there's a story Habib Salim has also mentioned, Allah, that when they were studying, when they were in the company of uh, Habib Abdullah Shafi, radiallahu anhu, anhu, they used to talk among themselves. They used to prepare their own meal. They used to talk among themselves and they used to say, what are we going to pre prepare after this class? What are we going to do? So they, in their minds, they were going to do uh, prepare a meal that was going to be mixed with honey and watermelon. Who does that? <laughs> honey, these two, they, they were going to say, they were going to mix honey and watermelon. Habib Abdullah Shatri, he was, uh, you know, when, when someone teach, when, the, when my shaykh teaches, sometimes they feel drowsy and they sleep within the class. As soon as they were mentioning in, the, in their minds, Habib Abdullah Shatri, he raised, he raised his head. He said, I, I found out that you're going to prepare honey and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I found out. They're going to put honey and watermelon. Don't do this. You know why? Because honey and watermelon, when you mix it up, it's going to turn into poison. Mm -hmm. Never do this. So, this, how did he know? <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, these are the truth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like Habib Ali al Habshi, radiallahu ta'ala, he saw like a pillar, a pillar that was made from light. That light it expanded towards him. And uh, when he saw this in his dream, that light, it changed physically and it formed itself to the image of the Prophet oh, And uh, the, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told Imam al-Habib Ali al-Habshi, أَمَا تَرْضَى أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَقْبَلُ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَقْبَلُكَ وَجَمِيعُ مَنْ حَوَلَيْكَ Aren't you going to be pleased that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept you and those who are surrounding you? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst mm -hmm. them, insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give what they have given them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrect us, resurrect us under their shade. Mm -hmm. All of them, they have the love of Allah. And as the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned in the hadith narrated by Imam Tirmidhi, what does he say? إِذَا أَحَبَّ اللَّهُ عَبْدًا نَادَى جِبْرِيلِ يَا جِبْرِيلِ إِنِّي أُحِبُّ فُلَانَ بْنَ فُلَانِ if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves one of his servants, what does he say? He say he call out he calls out to Jibreel, Oh Jibreel, I love so and so, so I want you to love him. Then Jibreel he calls out to the horizon to all of the angels. He calls out to the horizon to all the angels. Allah indeed loves so and so, so I command you to love him also. Not only him, it can be a her as well. Allah commands you to love him or her also. What does the Prophet say after that? He says, The people of the heavens will love him also. And acceptance will be, will be placed in the earth for that person. We can see right now, one of the examples of this is Habib Amr. One of the examples of this is Habib Amr. Anywhere he goes, he's accepted. Anyway, and he's treated like those people, those even the presidents are treated this way. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us some of what he has given them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of him and his family. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase his, uh, all of our love for the deen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our concerns for the deen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make, uh, make us implement what we have learned, what we have heard. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through this gathering. Uh, uh, forgive our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala change all of us from darkness to light. Mm -hmm. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala change all of us from hardships to easiness. Mm -hmm. and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala change all of us from uh, from illness to shifa. Mm -hmm. 
not only us, even though uh, we, hear, we hear our ummah, the ummah of the Prophet suffering. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala change their situations and our situations into better ones. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah.
Everyone will be blessed, inshallah. No one will go empty handed, inshallah. So, give a few minutes to make dua for every what are your required and hajjah with the work of this majlis, with the other work of this habayb, with the tawassal, ala except our hajjah. And as you know, what Habib Abedalata uh, said about Satim Latas is so important, very, very important, as we decide regularly in our home. Our home will be protected for all the things. Especially now, the media is very now they don't listen to the media. Whatever warriors come, whatever anything comes, don't be afraid. Our two vaccines, Ratibul Atas and Ratibul Hadda. If you oh. respect regularly, nothing will come at you. So just ignore what the media say because this is the pit of the jal. We should be a taqwa, you know, not taqwa with the vaccine, taqwa with this the Quran. Uh, and when we did the majority of this all habayb, when it is we keep this house, do attend. Whatever what is, leave those other things and attend, you will get the barakah and you will get the blessing. Inshallah, mashallah, mean some people come from far as well, they will make the journey easy on their return as well. So don't fear anything about that. Just ignore the media, what they said, they are liars. And it is the, the fitna of the judge because they don't want to be as muttaqi. And now to be, uh, what Allah said, to be taqwa, mutaki, And we we'll get everything. If it is written, any illness, is the khair, it's the Allah's mercy. We don't need to worry about it. If the hour, what will come, it will come. Wherever it is then. So after, with, with the life, there is a death. But unfortunately, non-Muslim Muslim dwells in darkness. They, they want to live forever. You know, but nobody can live forever. In dunya, there is a path to cross that. There is a death is there. After that, there is real life, inshallah. So inshallah, make uh, Iman more stronger mm -hmm. with the barakah because these pious people, the Iman was very stronger, mashallah. So have with this, so try for this barakah of Habib, with this whole of Habib, uh, Abdurrahman Atas, Umar bin Abdul Asad, we got the Ijaza to recite Ratibala Das Atas. So try to be punctual as much as you can because now this the more fear they'll be day by day anything they will come in on on we don't need to bother the people of tarim are so peaceful they don't bother about this thing you know. so mm -hmm. all they, they ignore that you know they just this they do like this you know. so just ignore what what they said don't listen to them where the gathering is there they need to get you know in the in during that time they, they started the corona give two meter gap two meter gap the shayatin to put in between the gap, you know. It's not the safety of that. They want share in between, you know. So that's the thing, inshallah. So we'll make dua and we'll end with the Kashid of uh, uh, Habib Abdul Abba, 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 Abba. So we'll give you just a few minutes. So whatever's in your uh, uh, mind, Allah uh, do this one. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Ya Allah, 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 Ya All
وإلى أحد الفاتحة يا أول أولين يا خيافين يا سلف وتمتين يا رحم السكين يا رحم الراحمين يا سلام وسلم المسلمين يا سلام وسلم المسلمين يا سلام وسلم المسلمين الحمد لله بداية سيدنا المسلمين وكلا سواك إلهنا فالطه بنا وجعل رضاك الشعرنا يا ربي قد ضاك الخناك وهالنا خطب الكروب وحادثات زماننا يا ربي قد عز النصير وامالنا إلا كن نرجوه لكشف كروبنا هل تم غيرك يا إلهي يرتجى أو هل لغيرك نشتكي أحوالنا أو هل يخيب رجاؤنا بك سيدي كلا فليس يخيب فيك رجاؤنا فبحق رفعة سرك الموضوع فيه أسمائك الحسنى بلطفك حبنا يا ربنا إنا توسلنا بمن بهداك للدين القويم هديتنا المصطفى المختار من فاق الوراء ورقى إلى رتب العلا لما دنا لولاه لم نشهد سنا برق الهدى كلا ولا سطعت شموس يقيننا هو أصل كل فضيلة وجميلة هو أشرف الرسل الكرام حبيبنا يا رب وفقنا لما ترضى ولا تجعل إلى سوء الحساب مصيرنا واجعل توكلنا عليك ولا تكيل لسوى جنابك يا إلهي أمرنا واصلح فساد قلوبنا واجعل لنا من كل هم مخرجا ورأف بنا وتعطف اللهم في غفران ما قد كان منا من قبيح ذنوبنا واصلح عواقبنا وسهل أمرنا وانصر وأيد من يؤيد ديننا واشمل جميع الحاضرين مراده من كل ما ترضى به يا ربنا واشمل جميع الحاضرين مراده من كل ما ترضى به يا ربنا وافض علينا سهب عفوك واسقنا كأس الروية من حياض نبينا واختم بخاتمة الرضا أعمالنا واجعل على التوحيد آخر عمرنا وافض على العبد الذليل مواهبا وانشله من أوحاله مما جنى وعلى الرسول أبي البتول محمد خير الأنام صلاتنا وسلامنا وعلى الرسول أبي البتول محمد خير الأنام صلاتنا وسلامنا وعلى الرسول أبي البتول محمد خير الأنام صلاتنا وسلامنا وعلى جميع الآل والأصحاب من ومن جمن ظهرت في آفاق في السنة ندعوك لا ندعو سواك إلهنا فاغدم بنا واجعل رضاك شعرنا اللهم صل وسلم For those who have come late, Hamla, we've been blessed by Habimar to give Fatiha for this majlis, inshallah. بارك الله فيك على هذه الحوليات وسيدنا عبد القادر بن احمد سيدنا علي بن محمد الحبشي ومن لك الروح معه في هذه الحوليه الكريمه المباركه ويبارك في كل من حضر ويبارك في كل من سعى فيها واقامها وجعل لها خيرات تعود بصلاح القلوب وتعود برفع الهمه في الوجهه الى الرب تعالى وتعود بنشر الهدايه ودفع الغوايه وتعود بصلاح الحال والمعال وبلوغ الامال الى حضره النبي محمد 